All right, I'm going to make a quick tip on how to uh, move things around with Expresso, kind of like the um, wiggle command in After Effects. We're going to be using something called Expresso. All right, let's just uh, add a cube real quick. And the null object, null object is going to be called Expresso. Um, just for organization, it will contain our Expresso tag. Um, we're going to drag in the cube. This requires MoGraph, by the way. Go down to Effectors. Go grab the Shader Effector. Now, if you've seen one of my other tutorials that I have, I do something with the um, formula effector, much to the same effect, that will be using the MoGraph, or Motion Graphics sample effector. Um, and that will use, uh, in that tutorial, I used it for oscillation. In this video, we're going to use the shader effector to move things around with noise, um, different types of noise. We're also going to use a calculate um, range mapper. And what we can do with that, oops, no more. Got to output the string. Then we can control different values. So, let's say we want to move this around. Um, the y-axis. Let's use the. Oops. Again. One last time. Now, if you want to have three separate values to move this around that aren't all the same, to move the position so that they're not you know, all moving identically, you're going to need to have three shader effectors and three of these setups, which you can just copy and paste and use for Y, X, and Z. So let's go ahead and go into the shader effector. Uh, we don't need to output any of this data because it already is outputting it through here um, with Expresso. And we'll just go ahead and add a noise effect, or a noise shader. And uh, we're going to use turbulence in this case. And just animation speed can be 1. And then we'll let it play. And we'll sit there and say, well, it's, it's not really moving. Well, it is. We'll go to the range mapper, click on it, and turn it up. And depending on where we turn it up, it will change the value. Now, this isn't exactly like the... Um, wiggle feature, but it is moving based upon noise, and that creates a similar effect. If you turn it down, or if you turn the global scale down, it will move more times, um, if that makes sense. And uh, if you turn it up, it will move less times. It will uh, have a lower frequency of it's, I guess, a proper way to put it. So, there you go. That is how you use the shader effector with Expresso to create a sort of Thanks for watching, and check out the blog later. It's uh, thinkparticle.com.